Moving to the next question, question number 33. Which one of the following esters get hydrolyzed most easily under alkaline condition? And four options are given. The correct way to find out the answer is the nature of reaction. This is an ester. In all the four options, ester group is similar group. Hydrolysis, it means reaction with nucleophile. Nucleophile. Now, nucleophile will attack at this carbonyl carbon atom. You can assume this reaction in this way. Pi bond cleavage will take place and electron will shift towards more electronegative oxygen atom. O CH3. Now nucleophile of the reaction which is in general water molecule will attack at this carbonyl carbon atom. Now higher the magnitude of positive charge on the carbonyl carbon atom higher will be the rate of reaction. It means that substance will be hydrolyzed most readily. So we have to check the magnitude of positive charge on this carbon atom. Now remember, if electron withdrawing group is attached to this benzene nucleus, it will decrease the electron density in benzene ring. It means increases the magnitude of positive charge. So in order to solve the question, we have to see the nature of group attached to the benzene nucleus. Now see in this case, there is no such type of group is present. Here it is chlorine, chlorine is electron withdrawing group, that is true. Here it is NO2, this is again electron withdrawing group. This is CH3O, CH3O that is methoxy group, it is electron donating group. So only in these two cases electron withdrawing group is present. So reaction will proceed readily. Now out of these two options, since NO2 is a stronger electron withdrawing group compared to halogen, so most is speedily the reaction will take place if the group attached to benzene nucleus is NO2. It means in this question, the correct option is third one. So moving to the next question, question number 34. In an SN1 reaction on chiral center, there is first option 100% retention, second option 100% inversion, third option is 100% racemization and fourth one is inversion more than retention leading to the partial racemization. Suppose we are considering the hydrolysis of a tertiary halide. R1, R2, R3 and this is halogen. These three alkyl groups are different so this carbon atom is chiral carbon atom. Now reaction is hydrolysis reaction. So reaction will proceed via SN1 mechanism. First step is the formation of carbocation. R1, R2, R3 and this carbon atom which is planar this is carbocation. In second step, nucleophile of the reaction will attack on this carbon atom. Now attack may take place from the front side or attack may take place from the back side which will result in the formation of two optically active alcohols R1, R2, R3, OH. So alkyl halide is converted into alcohol. From front side attack, this alcohol is obtained. Then from back side attack, this alcohol will be obtained. So such type of reaction takes place by retention of configuration, by inversion of configuration. But the product is Partial racemic mixture, it means 100% racemization is not taking place and inverted product is more than the retention product. 
so according to the mechanism the fourth option is the correct option so answer of this question should be 4 so next question is question number 35 the rate constant of the reaction A to B is 0.6 into 10 raised to power minus 3 mole per second. If the concentration of A is 5 M, then concentration of B after 20 minutes is. Reaction may have to find out that 20 minutes ke baad B ke concentration kya ho gay. Now see in this question, A is converted into B. Rate constant is given 0.6 into 10 raised to power minus 3 mole per seconds. The unit of rate constant suggests that this is a zero order reaction. Order reaction. Zero order reaction, it means amount of A reacted should be equal to amount of B produced. K is equal to R0 minus RT upon time period. Now in this question, rate constant is given 0.6 into 10 raised to power minus 3. R0 that is initial concentration of reactant which is given 5M. This is RT amount of reactant left divided by the time period. Here the time is given 20 minutes. But in rate constant this is per second. So this is converted into seconds. We can solve this question. This RT is equal to 5 minus 0.72. So 5 is the initial concentration. Amount of reactant A which is consumed in the reaction in 20 minutes is 0.72 moles. So amount of the A reacted should be equal to amount of B produced. It means amount of B produced will be equal to amount of A reacted which is equal to 0.72 mole. Now let us see the option. The first option is 0.36 mole. Second option is 0.72 mole. It means correct answer of this question is option number 2.